Well, no more Brady Bunch on TV, no more Partridge Family-like shows. Are the new TV shows on TV right now trivializing marriage? We're not essentially really a couple. Legally, we are, but emotionally we're not. We're still strangers. I had to send Britt home. You're going to be the bachelorette. I am a physical reminder of the fact that you were unfaithful to your wife. I am a liability. Fitz, door open. Door open. What role do shows like that play in shaping our view of marriage these days? Here to discuss New York Post columnist Naomi Schaefer Riley and the executive director of the Independent Women's Forum, Sabrina Schaefer. She joins us from DC. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Naomi, let's start with you. Uh, what is going on? It does seem like uh, a lot of shows trivialize marriage, and it, a lot of shows make it look like everybody is having an affair. Well, I'm sure you could get that impression from pop culture these days, and, and uh, certainly what's on TV is a problem in terms of how crude our culture has become. And uh, reality shows are no doubt a particular problem because lots of people think they're starring in them even when they're not on TV. <laughs> but I think uh, you know the real infidelity problem that we're experiencing is one much more about social and demographic factors and the opportunity to cheat, not necessarily what we're seeing on television. What do you mean the opportunity to cheat? Well, um, I mean, if you talk to most uh, sociologists and other people who research this stuff, you know, what, what it turns out is that the most uh, important factor in determining whether you're going to commit infidelity is, you know, how much opportunity you have. I mean, technology certainly helps you now have a private cell phone. You know, it used to be yeah. people had one, one phone in a home, and if you were having an affair, you know, the person would have to call your house. It'd be, a, it'd be pretty hard <laughs> to hide. Um, but I also think, you know, in terms of uh, women's equality and women working more, um, that has actually contributed it as well. I'm not saying that it's necessarily a bad thing, but it does mean that women have many more relationships outside the home uh, with available or sometimes sure. unavailable men. Uh, Sabrina, and we're, we're putting up on the screen, on one side we got the Brady Bunch, on the other side we have Ashley Madison, which is a cheater right. website. What right. is going on with our culture these days? Well, I know it is disturbing when you see their sort of scandal at night horse court during the day, it definitely <laughs> makes you sort of take a, a step back. You know, I think that this, you know, sort of to borrow a phrase from Christopher Lash, this is our culture of narcissism. This is the fact that people need constant validation, constant approval, and that's what an affair does. And that's why people love this sort of fantasy TV, because it, right. it tells them, you don't have to think about anybody else. This is all about you. And I think that that's sort of at the heart of a lot of this. Um, but I, I'm also with Naomi on this. I think that, that there has been an expansion of access. Um, and, and it feeds into this also this culture that we are constantly putting down men, even though many of these cases we're seeing that it's women who are initiating the affairs. Well, uh, you know, sitcoms for years have uh, put down guys because uh, they, they turn the dads into the butt of the joke. But the thing about glamorizing infidelity uh, make it look, makes it look, uh, Sabrina, like there you go out and have an affair, and you know what? You get away with it, or, you know, there is no price to pay for that. Well, right, and there, uh, I'm sorry. No, I was going to say, it, it also seems to me that, that our culture is glamorizing marriage. I mean, that is also, I think, we have placed unfair expectations for people about marriage. It's all about soulmates mm. and finding your true love right. and, you know, and flowers. And really, it's about a relationship that has to work between two people over a long course of time. It's not just about that one moment on The Bachelorette. We've come a long way from Ozzy and Harriet. Uh, Naomi Schaefer-Riley and Sabrina Schaefer, we thank you very much for joining us live today. Thanks, thank ladies. Thank you. All right. What do you think about that? Please email us, friendsfoxnews.com. Meanwhile, still ahead, after the deadly biker gang shootout in Texas, one liberal college professor has a message for America. You can't handle gun ownership. Where'd they come up with that? Plus, entitlement nation growing, startling new numbers show the Fed spent $100 billion on food stamps. Stu Varney wants to know, where's the recovery the White House keeps talking about? Plus, fire up the grill. Memorial Day is... And we're celebrating Barbecue Month with famous Daves and a bunch of men and women who served this nation. Good morning.